Hey, what's up? I'm Kanta Simmons, the academic guru and leading authority on student improvement. And welcome to another episode of Ask Cantus. This is my video platform where I answer your questions. You can pick my brain on anything that's concerning academic success, school success, and life success. Uh, today I have a question from Alex. And Alex is one of my YouTube subscribers. Thank you, Alex, for submitting your question. He says, I am... I am a year 11 student in England, and I have my GCSEs coming up in the next four to five months. I've been trying very hard in lessons, and I get good grades on my coursework, but when it comes to exams, I get fails every time. There's not much time left, and I need as much help as possible because it's my exams that are letting me down. I think there's maybe enough time for me to get my head back on, but I would really appreciate it if you could help me out on what I should do. Thank you. Well, Alex, uh, I commend you for what you've already been doing in the classroom and getting those good grades. Now, with most students, exams can be challenging. And I understand that over in England, uh, the GCSEs, that's what you guys call your general certificate of secondary education. And this is where you have various tests on the various different subjects that you're taking. Uh, here in the United States, some states call it uh, a graduation exam. Uh, it just wants to test your knowledge to make sure that you understand certain subjects. So, Alex, here's what I want you to realize when taking an exam. Preparing for a test starts on the very first day of class. I want you to get that now. Preparing for tests starts on the very first day of class. Not only that, the second principle I want you to understand is this. The best way to prepare for taking a test is by taking tests. Did you get that? The best way to prepare for taking a test is by taking tests. So, Alex, here's what I want you to do. Here's a new habit that I want you to develop. Now, Alex, this is my notepad, and I'm pretty sure in your subjects there, you are taking notes in class. What I would advise you to do and what I advise everyone to do is to take your notebook or the place you're taking notes and draw a dotted line down the middle of those notes or, or your piece of paper. And then on the left-hand side of the piece of paper, I want you to take all of your classroom notes. When you're in the class and you're listening to your teacher, your professor, as they're lecturing, I want you to take all of your notes on the left-hand side of the piece of paper. Now, Alex, when you get home, here's where the fun begins. I want you on a consistent basis on the right-hand side now is to make up potential test questions that go with the notes on the left-hand side. So when you're in class, take all of your notes on the left-hand side of the piece of paper and then on the right side, I want you to begin every single day making up your test question or a good exam question that will go with the notes on the left-hand side. And I want you to get in the habit of taking tests every single day by testing yourself. That's number one. This is what I call my 50-50 note-taking test prep uh, strategy. The second thing I want you to begin to do is that I want you to get online. I want you to talk to students who maybe are in the 12th and the 13th year and find out from them what tests that they take that you could use to potentially test yourself. So talk to individuals or students that are ahead of you, get access to their test and use their test as preparation tests, not from the standpoint of, um, cheating or anything like that, but from the standpoint of preparation, being able to look at test questions asked by different teachers, different professors, all for the sole purpose of making sure that you know the information. And thirdly, I would encourage you not only to get the test of students that you know that are in grades 12 and 13 that are hiring you, but also get online, find uh, videos, find other subject matter tests that can help you. We're taking the GCSE, uh, the George, excuse me, not the Georgia, but the General 
certificate of secondary education test. Preparing for tests is all about taking tests. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you become when it's actually exam time. So to refresh your memory, number one, take notes on your left hand side of the piece of paper and then you make up potential test questions on the right hand side. Also, speak to other students that may have taken the test before you or taken those subjects before you. See if you can get their old exams from them and you're now using those to help you study. You're using those to help you prepare for your exam. And thirdly, use the internet to find other um, test, find other courses, find other subject matter exams where you can prepare yourself for every subject. So Alex, that's my recommendation to you and anyone that's watching this video. If you're preparing for a test, remember preparing for a test starts on day one of the class. And number two, the best way to prepare for taking a test is by taking tests and exams. Become proficient, become comfortable, and master the subject. Well, there you have it. Uh, that is my response to you, Alex. And again, thank you so much for reaching out to me. And if you're watching this video and you would love for me to answer a specific question that you have, simply go to askcantus.com and leave me your name, your email address, and just send me your question, and I will do a great job, my best job, in answering your question here live on another episode of Ask Cantus. Now, as always, if you would love to continue to improve on what you're doing, uh, you can go to my website at cantussimmons.com to check out my books and my courses on academic success. I have a course there on how to ace your school test. If any of those can be of help to you, help to you, simply go to CantusSimmons.com where you can get access to those courses. Now remember this, there's only one game in life that counts, and that's your A game. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.